What is going on everybody? It is me, BlueX95 here. Welcome back to another video. So in the newest episode of Super Dragon Ball Heroes, we had Super Saiyan 4 Vegito up here. And they got everybody in the comments of the videos I saw arguing about which form was stronger, Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan 4. So I thought, hey, I'd solve it right now, right here, right now, with math and talking about the feats they pulled off in their series, okay? They'll both be treated with respect, I'll get into that right now. I'm not saying one form is bad or the other form is bad, I like them both. I don't care which series they're from, which series is better, I'm talking about the forums themselves, not the series. Well, besides when I say what part or like what series they're from, aside from that. <laughs> Anyways, each form's good. I don't hate either one. Let's move on to the video. Okay, a few things to name it off the start for Super Saiyan 4. I love its design. Super Saiyan 4 has a cool design, okay? Ignoring the power and the scaling right now, I want to state that from the start. That is the biggest upside to Super Saiyan 4 I can say. However, here's something that a lot of the fans, GT fans, seem to forget. People think Super Saiyan 4 is flawless and like you can't drop out of it. You can. I don't know if people remember this, but in the Omega Shenron fight, Goku dropped out of Super Saiyan 4 due to a lack of stamina. So, the form, yes, it does last a long amount of time, because he did fight multiple sh Shadow Dragons. It still relies on stamina and it will drain stamina heavily. But that does not mean it's a bad form. Because it doesn't lose speed like Ultra Super Saiyan does or like Full Power Freeza does. Because usually, when you get a lot of power and like a stamina drain, it means that you're going to have a reduced in speed because you're putting so much into power instead of speed. Super Saiyan 4 does not suffer from that though. Super Saiyan 4 still is fast as hell and has huge damage. That goes for like the form that it came after Super Saiyan 3. However, it doesn't drain as bad as Super Saiyan 3. But anyways, let's go over the power, okay? Super Saiyan 4 is stated to have a times 10 multiplier in power, so I'll flash it up on the screen about how the math goes in the Super Saiyan forms. Super Saiyan 1 gives you a 50 times increase in power, Super Saiyan 2 gives you a times 2 increase in power, and Super Saiyan 3 gives you a times 4. Now, if we multiply all those together, we will get da -da -da -da, a 400 times increase from your base form due to Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3. Now we add a times 10 on that from Super Saiyan 4, you got a 4,000 times power increase for that form, okay? So remember that, Super Saiyan 4 is a 4,000 times power increase from base form. We have to remember that, because we're going off of which form is not only faster and stronger, but which form has the less stamina drain. So, let's talk about the feats that Super Saiyan 4 had, okay? Super Saiyan 4 was the form that was beyond Super Saiyan 3 and GT. You had to have a tail to get it, besides fucking Vegeta's case, where he had like the Blitz Waves from Bulba, allowing him to go Super Saiyan 4. Goku needed his tail pulled out to do it the official way, but the Blitz Waves, as shown, is another way to do it. Now, the Super Saiyan 4 form kind of drags out the Inner Saiyan from the Saiyan, we could say. <laughs> that sounds weird to say, the Inner Saiyan from the Saiyan, we could say. Anyway, so, it is obtained from a, a Golden Grade 8 or a Golden Azari. You can, you can say one of those. I'm not sure which one you'd rather hear, but Golden Grade 8 or Go Golden Azari, okay? You need to go one of those in order to go Super Saiyan 4. You gotta harness its power, then you can draw out the full power from the Golden Ozaru form and make Super Saiyan 4. Now, power scaling in GT was odd, okay? So, you had Super Saiyan 4 Goku, who is like, insanely powerful and like, whooping Ice Nova Shenron's ass. But then you have him tired against Omega Shenron and dropping out of the form due to like, a loss of stamina. And even Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, having a hard time lifting a building. <laughs> Which is, pretty fucking sad. But, here's also something that's like bothered me, is like, Omega Shinron in that fucking series is, uh, shown to power up and blow up a city. And they're like, oh no, it's so fucking powerful, like, he's so strong, what are we gonna do about it? But then you think back, Nappa did that in the beginning of Z with two fingers, so it's like, just scaling really can't be used in the argument here, because, well, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta could barely lift up a building, but then you have shit like, Goku, getting hurt by bullets in his base form in Super. But like, what some people seem to forget is like, for that instance, Goku was his base form and he had his guard down, okay? Anybody can get hurt no matter how strong they are. But that case cannot go for the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta bit because he was clearly trying to lift up the building. But I'm not saying the form is weak because of that, just because it has inconsist inconsistencies. Blah. I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. Because the form has inconsistencies does not mean it's a bad or weak form. As I stated, it's stronger than Super Saiyan 3, the form that could shake the universe. <laughs> so just remember that, okay? And I feel like that kind of wraps it up for Super Saiyan 4, because it's a pretty concise ideal in a concise form. 
So, Super Saiyan 4, let's leave it at that. That's a 4,000 times increase in base power. Anyways, here we go to Super Saiyan Blue. And then we have Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan in Japan. I insanely agree Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan is a dumb name, and Super Saiyan Blue is an insanely better upgrade for a name. But, without further ado, let's go on to what Super Saiyan Blue can do, okay? Super Saiyan Blue can be combined with Kaioken, Kaioken times 10, and Kaioken times 20 in the newest episodes of Super, okay? And I feel like you have to, like, say this right away. The anime for Super is the canon. Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, the manga is the canon, but Dragon Ball Super, the anime is the canon, because the manga is taking after the anime, and the anime is kind of like laying the foundation and the canonosity for the series. The manga is just Toriyama's assistance, like, spinoff of the series, we could say. So I just want to get that out of the way. So Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken is canon. And the weird part about it is, like, here's the thing about it, and I don't want, like, anybody to, like, say, like, oh, you're making this bullshit up. Whatever the Fusees can do, the Fusion can do and better. So, even though we haven't seen him do it, Vegito could do, like, stuff like Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, Kao Ken. He can do that. He can do, like, Super Saiyan 3. If Goku and Vegeta can do it, the Fusion can do it better. For instance, like, proof of that? Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Neither Goten nor Trunks have hit Super Saiyan 2, but Gotenks can do Super Saiyan 3. That is something you have to know about Fusion in order, to make, in order for it to make sense, okay? So, just remember that, okay? I just want to state that, because, like, that that's always bothered me about people saying, like, Oh, Super Saiyan Vegito, there's no proof. Well, there kind of is. It's not in the series, but it's technically in the series, because we see it through Gotenks that, yes, Fusees can do... I mean, Fusions can do what the Fusees can do, but better. Anyway, so let's move on to Blue. I love Super Saiyan Blue. I like this design, probably can tell, because... Blue Boy, Super Saiyan Blue, I like the color blue. And also, I love Super Saiyan God, the form that comes, like, before it. Super Saiyan God, I've always loved its design, and Super Saiyan Blue, that's like such a cool idea that, hey, there's a form beyond a God form. <laughs> but, let's talk about the multiplier for Super Saiyan God from Super Saiyan 3, okay? So, when Beerus first meets Goku, Goku is like stated to go Super Saiyan 3, and Beerus is like barely using like 1% of his power against Goku. He's whooping Super Saiyan 3 Goku's ass. But then we see... Who the fuck's trying to... Hey, anyway, sorry, someone drove the car past by, but let's move on. So Super Saiyan God, from Super Saiyan 3, is shown to be an insanely powerful increase in power. Because Goku at Super Saiyan 3 was like under 1% of Beerus' power. Vegeta at Super Saiyan 2, who, in his rage mode, became stronger than Super Saiyan 3 Goku, was near 5% of Beerus' power, he said. Then we got Super Saiyan God Goku. Super Saiyan God Goku at 100% was stated by Beerus in both the movie and in the anime, to be roughly about 70% of his max power. So, Goku goes from a mere 1% of increasing from power... Of increasing from power? That's not right. <laughs> I'm sorry. But Goku goes from 1% of Beerus' power to 70% of Beerus' power. Basic math will tell you 70 divided by 1 is 70. Or 1 multiplied by fucking 70 is 70. What I'm getting at is from Super Saiyan 3 to Super Saiyan God is a 70 times multiplier in power. Okay? I'm just stating the math here, which I flash up on the screen as I'm saying it, so don't get mad. Now, that's a 70 times increase in power, so we do the math, that is times 50 for Super Saiyan, times 2 for Super Saiyan 2, times 4 for Super Saiyan 3, which we get 400. We'll tell that 70. Just Super Saiyan God alone, from your base form, is a 28,000 times increase in power. But you gotta remember, Super Saiyan Blue, or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, is the equivalent of Super Saiyan God's version of Super Saiyan. So slap another 50 on that, and from your base form, Super Saiyan Blue is an increase of 1,400,000 times increase in power. That's insane. Like, you can slap on Kyle Kinvis 20 on that. Like, there's like. Super Saiyan Blue is a powerful form, okay? And I know I'm going to piss off some people in the comments saying that, but the math is right here. And going by, like, how much of, like, a power increase Goku goes from Super Saiyan 3 to Super Saiyan God against Beerus, it's clearly obvious that from Super Saiyan 3, that's a 70 times increase in power, while Super Saiyan 4 is only a times 10 increase in power. That's just going for Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan Blue is, like, even another 50 times increase in power on top of that. And I feel like it's justified because these are God forms. These aren't just, like... 
the normal Saiyan multiple like, so, like Saiyan forms. These are God key involving insanely powerful forms, okay? Like these aren't just like your normal powering up and like finding another level or like using the tail to only select the next form. There's justifiable reasons for why Super Saiyan Blue is this powerful. And like I said, I know I'm gonna piss off some people in the comments for saying this, but the math shows that Super Saiyan Blue is stronger than Super Saiyan 4, and it doesn't even even need Kaioken or Super Saiyan Blue for that matter to defeat Super Saiyan 4. Super Saiyan God is enough. Which I feel like it goes without saying because people said like it was already a huge ass competition when it was just Super Saiyan God. So I don't feel like how people can say Super Saiyan 4 is stronger than Super Saiyan Blue when the form that came before Super Saiyan Blue was already a huge, huge debate between which is stronger. But and not to mention the fact that Super Saiyan God, Goku, and Beerus when fighting. Just, just remember this. They were impressed in GT that Omega Shenron blew up a city. Goku and Super Saiyan God fighting Beerus. Be Beerus was even at max power. Goku was at max power doing this shit. They almost destroyed the entire universe from like how how much like their blows are matching one another. We have gotten to the point in Dragon Ball Super where the forms are so strong that if we fight the wrong way, it could mean the end of the universe. So that's already just another reason why Super Saiyan 4 is weaker than Super Saiyan Blue. I should have used the word weaker, because I stated from the beginning of this, I like Super Saiyan 4, they're both strong forms. However, when we ignore our biases and do the math, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, and Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken are just stronger than Super Saiyan 4, okay? I'm sorry. Oh god, I'm, I'm gonna get so much hate for this video, but the math proves it! I can't fucking... I can't give you any other reasons besides the math proves it, and the feats prove it too. And it, unlike weak moments, this is like just genuine stuff about the forms, and Goku was getting overpowered by Omega Shinron, who was just a Shinron. Like, there's like no arguments I can make here for why Super Saiyan 4 is above Super Saiyan Blue, because it's not. But oh, like I said, I love Super Saiyan 4. It's a cool design. It's a good form. So just because I say one form is stronger than the other, I'm not saying that form is bad. Because Super Saiyan 4 is pretty cool. And I'd be totally down if they brought it to Super. If they found a way to like have GT appear in like some other universe, I'd be totally down for that. Also, this is just throwing it in there in the manga for Dragon Ball Super. We actually got the full fight of Super Saiyan Blue versus Super Saiyan 4 instead of, you know, a fucking minute of it in the anime, which didn't even have a conclusion. Seriously, th that was like, what, a minute of a fight? <laughs> Could you even qualify that as a fight? There's like a beam struggle, but like, that's it. But anyway, so, Super Saiyan Blue won that fight. So, I not only think that, but the makers of Dragon Ball Super, I mean, Dra Super Dragon Ball Heroes does too. That's just something I want to throw in there. Well, I guess that kind of wraps it up for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. So much for watching. I'm sorry about the grammar. Like, I'm really fumbling here with my words, but... Because I'm just trying to think about all this and, like, say it in, like, a not insulting manner. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Slap that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more information in the future to see more of my content. I'd really appreciate it. Once again, I don't hate any form. I really want to stress that because I know there's going to be a huge debate in the comments if this video gets anywhere. So, I have no bias here. But when I show the math and I do the math, one form comes out on top and that form is Super Saiyan Blue. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. Have a nice day. Peace. And don't even get me started on Mastered Ultra Instinct or Ultra Instinct. That's a totally different ballgame that Super Saiyan 4 cannot compete against. Just stating that. I'm sorry.